The Harvard Brain Bank is one of the largest brain banks in the country. At the moment we house approximately 5,000 brain specimens. My name is Sabina Beretta. I am the scientific director of the Harvard Brain Tissue Resource Center, which we affectionately call the Harvard Brain Bank. Our mission is to collect brain specimens, store them, characterize them, and then redistribute them out to investigators across the world. They do research on the human brain, and in particular on large number of neurological and psychiatric brain disorders, such as uh, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, Parkinson, Huntington, and many others. The Brain Bank never sleeps. We have two sets of people that are on call 24-7. We have a very limited time window from when the person passes away to the time we need to be done with this whole processing. So this is going to be your first brain late at night, right? I know. First late at night. We have to do it in less than 24 hours. Our courier will bring it to Hi, McLean guys. Hospital, to the Brain Bank. So just put it out here, so we're gonna take ourselves. There will be a dissectionist ready to dissect the brain. That involves so separating the two hemispheres. One of the two hemispheres is put in a solution that preserves it. The other hemisphere will be dissected in thick sections, and those will be frozen. We are not even close to understand a lot of what we take for granted. Our thoughts, our instincts, our feelings, our emotions. There are a lot of questions we still don't know. A lot of our brain functions still will probably be studied for a long time to come. A brain donation is, in a very concrete way, a gift of knowledge and it cannot be done without the help of families and people willing to donate their brain.